Hello everyone, welcome to chapter 1, lesson 6. We're going to be dealing with equivalent ratios and scan the lesson list. Two things to be able to learn about equivalent ratios. So we're going to learn how to use unit rates to compare ratios. Also, to use equivalent fractions to compare rates and ratios. Real world link. Andrea spent $2 to make 10 prints at a photo booth. Later, she spent $6 to make 30 prints. So here we have 10 to 2 and 30 to 6. Express the relationship between the number of prints she made and the, and the total cost for each situation as a rate in fraction form. So the first one, we had 10 prints for $2. and the other one, we have 30 prints for $6. So let's compare the relationship between the numerators of each rate next to size 1. Compare the relationship between the denominators of these rates. So I can say the first numerator, or the numerator in the second rate is three times the numerator. in the first rate. And the denominator is three times as well. So number three, what is the unit rate for 10 prints? Well, for 10 prints, we have 10 prints for $2, so that equals 5 prints per dollar. What is the unit rate for 30 prints? Well, for 30 prints for $6, if you simplify that, that's also 5 prints per dollar. Are the rates in exercise one equivalent? Yes. They have the same unit rate. It says use unit rates. There are different ways to determine if two ratios or rates are equivalent. One way is by examining unit rates. By comparing quantities as rates in simplest form, you can determine if the relationship between the two quanti quantities stays the same. This is the method I really like using, is just using the unit rates to, to find out if they're the same. So example one, determine if each pair of rates is equivalent. Explain your reasoning. So we have 20 miles in five hours and 45 miles in nine hours. If you simplify, so divide by five, divide by five, we have four over one. And this one, if we simplify, divide by nine, divide by nine, we have five over one. So we say, n no, not equivalent. The unit rates are different. Now three t-shirts for $21, five t-shirts for $35.
So if you look at the example, we have 21 over 3, and then 7, that equals 7 over 1. And then we have 35 over 5, divide them both by 5, we get 7 over 1. So yes, they are equivalent. It says determine, so got it, A and B, determine if their unit rates are equivalent, explain your reasoning. So the explain your reasoning is, do they have the same unit rate or they do not have the same unit rate? So go ahead and pause the video. So for A, we have A over here on top, 36 over 3 equals 12 over 1, 60 over 6 equals 10 over 1. No, not equivalent unit rate to difference. For B, we have 42 over 7, which equals 6 over 1, and then we have 54 over 9, which equals 6 over 1. So yes, they are equivalent. They have the same unit rates. Now we're going to try example 3. Felisa read the first 60 pages of the book in 3 days. She read the last 60 pages in 6 days. Are the reading rates equivalent? Well, this one... After you simplify, 60 over 3 is 20 over 1, and 90 over 6 is going to be 15 over 1. So since they do not have the same unit rates, they are not equivalent. So go ahead and try C and D in the got it. Alright, so for C, we have 10 over 5 equals 2 over 1, 12 over 4 equals 3 over 1. So they are different unit rates, so the answer is no. For D, we have 168 over 42 and 152 over 38. They both equal 4 over 1, so, they, so yes, they have the same unit rate. Now the other way is to use equivalent fractions. So example 4, determine if the pair of ratios or rates is equivalent. Explain your reasoning. So they did 3 free throws out of 7 attempts. And then they have 9 free throws out of 14 attempts. So to get from 3 to 9, you multiply by 3. To get from 7 to 14, you multiply by 2. 3 and 2 are different, because remember, whatever we do to the top, we must do to the bottom. So these are not equivalent, because the 3 and the 2 are different. Not equivalent. So example five, Selena is comparing the cost of two DVD packages, or sorry, compares the cost of two packages of DVDs. A package of six DVDs costs $90. So we have six over 90. And then does that equal three DVDs for 45? Well, if we multiply this by two, multiply this by two, then these are the same, so yes, they are equivalent. The other way, the book did the division, I just worked backwards. You'll get the same, uh, same answer. So if you can make the fractions the same, or if you want to find the unit rates, you're going to get the same answer. So go ahead and try E. So we have 12 of 16 girls, and then we have 4 to 8 girls. 12 divided by 3 equals 4, 16 divided by 2 equals 8, 3 and 2 are different, so they are not equivalent. And that's the end of the video, so thank you for watching.